Hi everyone, I'm Darren from TestLab Robotics and in this video, we're going to take a look at the WR 2023 RoboSport category. The RoboSport category will change every 2 or 3 years and this year's mission is the Double Tennis. And each team consists of 2 to 3 students and they are aged from 11 to 19. So every match, each team has to prepare 2 robots to compete with the opponents. And the robot has to work together for a common goal, that is to push all the prima balls to the other half. So the game field is separated into 2 halves. And each half has a ramp and a barrier is in the middle to separate both halves. Before every match, Judges will do a coin toss to determine the location of the ball. If it's a head, the ball will be in position A. And if it's a tail, the ball will be in position B. It's a head. Head. A tail. The ball on the other side will mirror the ball location on the first half. The robot will start in the dotted screen. Each match will take 2 minutes. 3, 2, 1, start. So during the match, the robot has to operate autonomously and participants is not allowed to interfere or assist the robot in any ways. And the robot is allowed to push, throw or kick ball to the other side. The robot is allowed to drive onto the ramp on its half but the robot is not allowed to touch the red area on its half. If any part of the robot touches the red area, the team that violated the rules will lose the match by 8-0. Same goes to the other side. If your opponent robot touches the red area of your ramp, they are violating the rules and they will lose the match by 8-0. The situation when both robots of the same team operate more than 4 balls at the same time is not allowed. When this situation happens, the judges will start counting down 5 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If nothing changes, the game will be stopped and the number of balls will be calculated to get the score. If the ball goes out of the game field, it will be returned back to the half of the team that throw it and the judge will put the ball at one of the corners in any situation. Team must build two robots and each robot must not exceed the size limit of 20 cm cube during the match. The controller, motor and sensor used to assemble robot must be from the LEGO robotics platform that includes EV3, Spike Prime and Robot Inventor. Team can use any camera of their choice but WR recommend using the Pixie 2 for LEGO EV3 and the Open MV for Spike Prime. So I hope that this video will help you understand the rules and regulation for the WR2023 RoboSport category. But to get the full information and all the details of the RoboSport category, it's best to go to the WR website to download the PDF file and read it through. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys again.
Bye.